conceit conceit never to mistake conceit with uh, uh, pride pride has a positive connotation you talk about personal pride national pride and you could be proud of your achievements pride involves achievements uh, basically uh, pride involves talents achievements anything su uh, success and all that conceit means uh, it involves it is a tendency of condemnation belittling others condemning others looking down upon others conceit so those who have this fixation we all have i also have um, so conceit uh, because of conceit because of this fixation uh, you happen to uh, look down upon others now those who are down to earth right, and you talk about the kind of people who are down to earth problem you have been told many times by your friend or maybe in your person so in your absence Oh, I like that person. He's so down to earth. She's so down to earth. Even though she or he is highly educated and everything, because she could be very, uh, how to say, boastful about their backgrounds and education and all that. But no, they're very humble, very down to earth. But whereas when it comes to conceit, conceit has three levels: uh, superior, equal, inferior three levels and then uh, in modern psychology you talk about uh, complexes right complex is uh, a chronic condition for which there's almost no medicine right? so the you talk about a uh, superiority complex inferiority complex and there's one middle usually in modern psychology you talk about two complexes superiority and inferiority and there's a middle one as well when it comes to this, this fixation. Now, if you think that you are superior to everyone else, that's because of that fixation, conceit. Because um, whereas you can honestly talk about your achievements, your talents, at that point, you don't have conceit. You have pride. Pride is a good thing. So uh, you can be proud of your knowledge, proud of your background, but there's a fine line between being pride and being conceitful. There's a fine line between pride and conceit. What is that? Now, you honestly talk about your talents, achievements. <coughs> Why? Thereby you motivate people. You motivate, you motivate, you motivate people so that they can use you as a role model. Whereas, where you cross the line is, uh, but you know what, I don't think you can achieve what I have achieved. In case you say that, that is not pride anymore. That is conceit. So, uh, that's a fine line. And then, uh, it's okay to it's ethical and it's okay to share your achievement, your, uh, your talents, so that others can use you as a role model. And at times, some people, I have seen some people, and that, that is superior. And then second one is, uh, so, so the equality complex. Modern psychology doesn't talk about that. Modern psychology only talks about superiority complex and the inferiority complex. This equality never to be mistaken as uh, uh, the equality as a good quality. It's a divine principle according. So you try, you for sure, for sure in every aspect, uh, whatever the aspect that you choose to compare yourself with the other party, you are less lower, uh, you are slightly lower uh, than the other party. And you try to equal yourself with that party. For example, let's say you just you bought a car uh, that was made in um, let's say 2017, and this is 2019. 
and it's the same car with a slight the design slightly different with the more options and then so that uh, so that uh, I come to you I and then uh, or you just uh, drive over to my place and say okay hey look at this this is my car or oh, it's the same brand it's the same thing I'm not going to know use any brand name because this is going public uh, I may want to do marketing for them uh, so and then you would then I would I would just say you know what while well, this US is 2019 but mine is 2017 it doesn't make any difference you know what I know for sure all the car uh, so it's uh, it's uh, how to say uh, it's more uh, crash resistant uh, all the car it is more crash resistant so that it can survive a crash whereas you know what this is like cardboard you know this is and then but you know what this is 2019 this this comes in more options I, d I don't need more those options I think to drive to work and drive home back that's it uh, and that is that is called equality and you try to bring that person down to your level or you try to elevate yourself to his level their level and that that drains your energy people that do that a lot it's quite spontaneous you do that that doesn't mean that you you are not supposed uh, to compare it's okay to talk about that but what matters is in case you feel uh, some yeah yeah exactly that's right yeah so and then inferiority complex the inferiority level of uh, uh, conceit uh, and that that one of superiority equality and inferiority which one is more uh, harmful superiority being superior being inferior feeling inferior be uh, feeling superior exactly feeling inferior why is that when you feel superior and you you live uh, there's a greater distance between you and the other parties, other people that you compare. Whereas, um, when you feel inferior, and so that you feel marginalized, and so that you always, you t talk about others too much, because of uh, inferiority, because uh, you struggle more. Uh, when I talked to explain this to a young man in America this time, he said, yeah, the superior people have no game. <laughs> and I like that term, uh, his phrase. Whereas, it, it consumes, uh, it drains much less energy. I mean, when you feel superior to someone. Whereas, when you feel inferior to someone, it, it drains most energy. Because you need to struggle to prove that you are no different. And, uh, and uh, so that... Uh, Inferiority complex is more uh, harmful. So, uh, and let's say you are invited to a, a party, and then uh, it's uh, so you it, you work for the same company, and everyone else had the professional license to practice, whereas you 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 don't have. You are still studying for that, learning for that. And in case you, you know what, I'm not the, I'm the only one who doesn't hold the license. Everyone is really professional, I'm not, should I go? Wait a minute, you were invited, right? Because you are special, when you, when you attend the party, actually you remain special. Don't feel inferior, you are special. So uh, you must be able to hang around with anyone in the society, if you are invited. And in, in, in the meeting, in the gathering, and some people are reluctant to go talk to the other part. Oh, you know what? He's a big person. I don't like to talk to him. But uh, you, your friend is, you know what? He looked at you and she looked at you and smiled. Did you see that? Did, didn't you notice? Yeah, but you know what? I don't feel like going and talking. Because you feel inferior. Don't do that. <laughs> 